Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Running out of space on your Windows 11 virtual machine? You're not alone. Whether you're storing more files, installing new software, or just need a little extra breathing room, it's common to find yourself bumping up against your VM's disk limits. The good news is that adding disk space to a Windows 11 virtual machine is easier than you might think. Today, we're going to add additional space to our Windows 11 VM, and I'll show you a free tool you can use to analyze your disk space to easily find the biggest files. As a reminder, VMware Workstation Pro is now free for personal use. It used to cost a few hundred dollars. Just create a free account, and then you'll be able to download and install it. The first step to adding disk space to your Windows 11 VM in VMware Workstation Pro is to increase the size of the virtual hard disk through the VM settings. Begin by shutting down your Windows 11 virtual machine if it's currently running. Open VMware Workstation Pro and select your VM from the list. Right-click on the VM and choose Settings, then navigate to the Hard Disk section. Here you'll find the option to expand the disk size just enter the new, larger value you want for your virtual drive. It's important to note that VMware Workstation Pro will prompt you to delete any existing snapshots before you can continue with resizing the disk. This is because snapshots can interfere with the disk expansion process. Make sure you remove all snapshots to proceed. Once that's done, you can apply the changes, and your VM will have a larger virtual disk ready for the next steps after rebooting. It will take a few minutes for the virtual machine expansion to complete. When it finishes, just turn the VM back on. Don't be surprised when you don't see the new space yet. The next step is to open Computer Management from the Control Panel and then select Disk Management. Oh hey, please check out the affiliate links in the description. They help keep our channel alive. I really appreciate it. Now you can see the extra 25 gigabytes we added to the virtual machine. However, there's a small problem. Do you see what the issue is? The new unallocated space was added after the 600 megabyte recovery volume. Windows Disk Management can't expand the primary volume unless the unallocated space is contiguous, meaning they have to physically be next to each other. Since this is just a virtual machine, I'm going to delete the recovery space using the Disk Part command line tool. Enter the list command to see the partitions and volumes. Select the volume and then delete it. Listing the volumes again, I can see it's gone. I can confirm this by going back to Windows Disk Management and rescanning the drive. Now we're ready to expand the primary volume with the new 25 gigabytes of unallocated space. Select the primary volume and right-click Extend. The Extend Volume Wizard will guide you through the process. Just accept the default settings since we want to use all the space. Once it completes, you can see the disk space has now been increased with the extra 25 gigabytes. If you can't increase your disk space, your best option is to analyze your hard drive usage and delete unnecessary files. That's often easier said than done, especially when you're not sure what's taking up all that space. If you've ever wondered where your disk space has gone or struggled to find those massive files clogging up your drive, Tree Size Free by Jam Software is the perfect solution. This handy, user-friendly tool scans your hard drive and visually displays exactly how your storage is being used making it a breeze to track down large folders and files. With features like interactive charts, detailed folder size breakdowns, and the ability to drill down into subfolders, Tree Size Free helps you quickly reclaim valuable disk space. Best of all, as the name suggests, it's free for personal use. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next tech review. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.